I saw one of those billboards that the Marines put up for recruiting purposes. You know, the one, the one that says, uh, we don't take applications, just commitments. And it reminded me of the time that our eldest son, Paul, left home in order to join the Marine Corps. I remember on that day, my wife cried quietly as he hugged her and said, see you in three months, Mom. Of course, he was thinking that all would be the same when he returned, but we knew better. His experience changed him and changed our lives without him and transformed us into something a little different than what he had left behind. This departure made me realize that no matter how tightly you hold on, all that is precious to you will eventually leave. Whether it be your children, your health, your dreams, everything will be gone one day. Now, this would be a depressing comment on the vaporous nature of life if it weren't for the fact that we have been given one constant to hold on to, and that is Jesus Christ. The Hebrew writer put it this way, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews chapter 13, verse eight. Paul's departure was a bittersweet experience. I was proud to see him mature and sad that my little boy was gone. At the same time, however, I became more sensitive to the fact that the Jesus I praised when my son was born was exactly the same Lord I earnestly appealed to for his safe return. He did not change, even if my situation did. In the end, this event brought into sharper focus the one who has always been there through every change and loss in my life. My joy was that through Christ, all those I wanted to keep forever would be there to meet me when it would be my turn to leave home. Oh, and by the way, Paul eventually came home safely.